Hello dear audience, Grandmaster Sigishipov is continuing the coverage of the match in Sofia. Komsky's huge mistakes in the fifth game left a strange aftertaste. I still can't understand their nature. Gotta couldn't blunder like that. But he still did. The American will have to win back the point again. The classic variations of the Rai Lopez fit Komsky's style very well. But Topalov moved to the Karakon defense. In the Karakon, there is a very important quality which makes it very fitting for battle. It's dependable. In the last 15 years, a lot of new possibilities were found in this variation. As if the aggressive development, development of the pieces couldn't confuse. White is ready to meet any attempt by Black for the needed space for the counterattack. A planned blow. White took over the wonderful blockade square d4, and the free bishop ended up under attack. The lag in development doesn't let black waste tempos to move the bishop. White declined the trade on f5, so not to endanger the bishop e3, and not to let the bishop f8 go free. Full cavalry armies battled for the square d4. Originally played, that's a novelty. I must admit that I don't remember such a way of development by well-known grandmasters. Though you can't say it's not logical. The knight on e7 is playing an important defensive role, and the bishop from g7 will terrorize the weak pawn e5. The weakening of the dark squares on the king's side can be survived. The most natural agreement, argument. The advantage in development gives white reasons to open up the center for the possible attack on the queen's side. Here, bishop c5 should also have been looked at. Now the black knight is holding the most central position. Of course, it's possible to hold the black king in the center with bishop c5, but what do you do with bishop after bishop f8? For now, I can't see anything. Veselin didn't immediately ask the opponent the logical question. Well, we have to admit that the black king can leave the center, but in that case, white will have some activity back with the pieces. Here, the natural rook c1 was stronger. A strong argument. Nothing better could be found. The queen on c1 is too bad. Of course. The trades were obviously beneficial for black. He has no problems. The knight on d5 is very strong, and the king on g7 is safe. As a minimum, there is equality on the board. The opening duel was won by Topolov. Kamsk uh, Gara is attacking by inertia. Komsky is covering the square f4 where the black knight was looking at and is preparing to solidify the king position like Petra Sam with king g2. A beneficial prophylactic move. The opponents are waiting. Cardinally changing the position without much weakening for yourself is very hard. Black is taking over the c vertical. Later he can push the queen side pawns. White has to be very careful. Mink trades await us ahead. Now we will see mountains of corpses. Beneficial in the plan of the battle for space. The push b4 is impossible. And it began. The white queen is tied to the pawn b2. An interesting regrouping. If the black queen ends up on d5 and the knight will move to c5, then the pawn e5 will be endangered. It's already quite clear that Topolov is playing to win. He could get a draw just by offering it. Besides, black has no clear advantage. He has just a very comfortable position without any risk because of lack of weaknesses. And white has to play very technically. White has to be carefully um, defending the weaknesses. Komsky's got nothing to be jealous about. Instead of playing for a win, he has to dream about keeping a minimal lag in the score, as white. In the later maneuver in battle, both sides made some minor mistakes, but we will show a small part of the game without commentary. And here we have an important moment. 
The passivity of the knight is a chronic problem in White's position, and Komsky is trying to fix it using the fact that the opponent weakened the pressure on the square e5 for just a second. For the first time in the last 20 moves, White came up with a threat for the pawn a5. The attack to the opponent's state knot. It's been known for centuries that the queen plus knight is a very effective mating brigade. Exact defense. Komsky is demonstrating his classic character. Though he doesn't have much time left. Only 4 minutes to Topolov's 43. Veselin is stubbornly not trading the queens. The surviving white queen is threatening with a perpetual check for the black king. The draw is close. Black has no right to slow down. His faraway pieces are risking to not make it on time to help the king. If he is slow, he can even lose. And the control is passed. The only move, but that's enough. Draw. Komsky got off the hook with a small scare. He couldn't give problems for the opponent in the opening, and even after a couple of mistakes ended up with some serious problems. But he finally got himself together and held on to the defense. We should again point out another one of Topalov's opening preparations. A strong thing. The ex-champion is continuing to lead in the match 3.5 to 2.5 points. Again, for you dear friends, we're Grandmaster Sege Shipov. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.